Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. Today I'm focusing on why mood swings can be so overwhelming at menopause and how you can overcome them because most people go into this deep dark pit and they get very moody and sometimes even very depressed and anxious and they don't know that they can do a U-turn and feel better again. They basically think that that's how it is and that life has changed. And it has changed in a way because you're going through a transition. But it is a transition. It has a beginning and an end. And if you have got adequate knowledge, you can get through it and come out feeling so much better than you can probably ever remember. So you can seriously reclaim your well-being and get back to having a normal life. But it can be very scary and very isolating when you feel depressed and moody. And obviously sometimes you rub people up the wrong way and that doesn't go down too well, doesn't help relationships either at work or at home. And sometimes people retreat into themselves because they know they're, they're sounding mean or snappy and they don't really mean to, but they can't help themselves. So you need to look at the underlying cause. Again, I talk about nutritional deficiencies because that's so common amongst women. Our research found that over 50% of women have low levels of magnesium. In fact, 50 to 80% of them and other nutrients like iron, zinc, essential fatty acids, vitamin D, and all sorts of nutrients are in short supply and you're running on empty. So you need a refuel. So it's very important. But in the short term, you can do good things for yourself. First of all, exercise will help to release wonderful endorphins, which make you feel better. So if you get up and you feel bad, then try and do some exercise first thing in the morning. Just put some music on and sing and dance to your favorite music. Do some stretching and it will just change the way. In fact, it changes the color of the lenses through which you see the world if you keep doing it. So that's one thing you can do. But also make yourself a gratitude list. So all the things that you're grateful for in your life. And we take so many things for granted, even the fact that you can see beautiful things, you can smell, taste and so on, you can walk and you've got lots of friends and family to be grateful for and so on. So make your list and then you can refer to that list when you're feeling down, have a look at it in the evening, you can add to it on an ongoing basis, maybe take a photo of it or keep the list on your phone so you can always refer to it when you need to. So that's important as well. And then do things for yourself. Maybe you've forgotten about nurturing yourself. Many of us do when we're busy and there's so many demands on us and we're living life in the fast lane. But do watch a funny movie. Go out with your girlfriends. Just do something nice for yourself. Have a hug or a massage. Something that is going to make you feel a bit better. And just communicate to people around you and tell them that you're going through a transition and that you are going to do something about it to come out the end and just have hope in your heart that you will feel better. So if you want more information, you can come to my website. There are so many ways you can get help. We've got free downloads. I've got a membership group that you can join. I do broadcasting every week. I answer people's questions. And I've also got a boot camp. There's just tons of ways to get help. So don't go on suffering and join me next time.